Hello everybody, in this short lesson I'd like to talk about uh, this uh, flowing type effect and um, I mean, it's actually uh, quite easy to set up so um, let's see how it's actually uh, done so um, here I have a geometry that I was given and the client wanted to uh, to have some flow inside of of the shape, but uh, the rest of uh, the holes uh, should uh, uh, be empty. So uh, what I did, I actually uh, scale it, and uh, I use the boolean method just to extract by using C method. And this way I got my uh, lines. Then resampling. And I use the polyframe um, to create my normals uh, following the, uh, the shape forms. And uh, I also triangulated. Uh, the 2D geometry and scatter some points by using the, the volume of the shape of the original shape I'll uh, I deleted those unnecessary points and here I have uh, two versions inside and outside in case uh, which one is more likable okay then I transfer my normals to all those uh, points. This will be the flow. Okay. Uh, then I convert uh, the normals to uh, to a velocity channel. Um, here I'm actually using uh, some. Uh, values to have a uh, um, um, nice blending between um, those areas if for example we use uh, like max sample count by one uh, it will be a very rigid transition so i use some bigger value which has some smooth transition Okay, um, I added some uh, position blur uh, and then I used the uh, particle simulations just to get some nice flow going. So here our particle system which I used points with some uh, burst attributes and uh, there's some drag and I use the uh, pop wall to uh, control the speed of my particle so I'm using a uh, point cloud open uh, and yeah, I'm using a normal as the uh, velocity driver. This way I have uh, some constant velocities on my particles. Okay. Next, um, I'm adding some uh, p-scale attributes if I'd like to render it later on. And I'm also adding some color attributes which uses the um, life and age of a particle. This way I have some gradients in the beginning and in the end of, uh, of a particle. Then I used uh, the color, uh, the age as a color, so I could have some interesting uh, color variation.
yeah this is uh, this is the effect uh, um, also as an extra I I thought maybe if I'd like to have some uh, volume not just the flat surface uh, and Here I use the uh, uh, color of those lines and I made sort of a, uh, this kind of gradient and I used it as uh, uh, I added to my Z channel. Yeah. So this way you can see I have some extrusions. I play as you see now it has some uh, now it has some volume to it. So I think it's a very uh, nice effect uh, which uh, you can use uh, to your own advantage uh, like text flowing or some uh, custom patterns uh, and so on. Well, um, well I hope you like the tutorial and uh, uh, thank you for your attention and I see you in the next lessons. Goodbye.